Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. Nah, it's that black gamer in the sky. Sway. Welcome, boys and girls, back to my channel. I know it's been a long while, but you know what? I decided to come back against my own free will. Against it, yes. Maybe, I don't know. However, I am in the Air Force now as a reserve. But before I do go ahead and deploy and all this stuff, I wanted to go ahead and get back into YouTube a little bit for my own enjoyment. I like YouTube. I don't know why I left. I left because it was too much of a workload. I had other things in my mind. Enough about that. So, I have been nonstop addicted to CSGO, and by God, this is the worst type of drug a man can ever have. You forget about family, friends, and even your girl a friend, which, you know, can become your friend after playing CSGO for about a week. It's quite sad. Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have finally got back my gold level one star. It's beautiful, I know. Take a moment to gander at it. It took me about a month after I lost it or so, which I've lost it by playing with friends. Darn, my friends, and their silver stars. Silver stars? Yes, only Kurt and Hunter has one. Sad day for them both. Anyway, by doing a few solo queue games, I finally got my star back, and now that I have it back, I also got my Overwatch, and this will be the first Overwatch case I am going to watch. I might have a little bit of trouble with it, but hey, who cares? And... You know, whatever. So, without further ado, time to review our first case. Let's get right to it and see what type of trouble we got today. All right, so we have the suspect, and on the first round, seems to be a normal. Let's see what's going on here. All right, we can go ahead and turn the X-ray on because that would probably actually help. Alright, so is he a smurf or is he straight up hacking? Now that was a nice little shot, but that's also a pre-aim shot, so hey, we're not going to count that one into the booklets just yet. Hmm. He doesn't seem to actually know where they are or how many. He's still checking that corner. So again, he's just doing quick peeks and actually shooting at the area over there. Just another check. I mean, tell me where that smoke is at now. Now, that could be explained by just going ahead and pre-shooting. I'm not even going to be mad at that. Now, that, though, that's a little bit suspicious. Because the guy was walking up to him. And when you're walking, you don't make a sound whatsoever. I would know. I died money, many, many times by that. But again, so it's only them two left. And he knows where one guy is. That was an oddly good shot. That's explained by, you know, just shooting. Now that one, hmm. So it looks to be as if he's using aimbot. So far, that's my thing from that round that's popped right into my head. Cause a few of those shots were in the split second. That's a little bit too hard to really get. I don't know, once you play CSGO for a while, you, you learn a few little things about like your reaction timing. There's some shots that are like, oh wow, you just got lucky, and a few are like, that's a little bit too lucky. So that one, that's fine. Again, he's pre aiming that spot. I mean, that's a common spot, so that's fine, and now he knows that, that's an interesting smoke. He went right into the door, you guys see that? Right into the door. Hmm, another headshot. Now, not sure if Smurf still or hacking, but we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to the next thing. So this time it's time for some one digs. Let's see what the suspect gets. Ooh. You know, I've always wondered when I was watching other people do Overwatch videos if everyone else's names were like Shark and Dart and Calf. I don't know. I don't know why, but so a little scared. He does die, but Interesting that he decided to shoot though before. I mean, most of the time when you're holding that, you don't shoot. And he's been doing a lot of random shooting before the person came through. So I'm not exactly sure what to think on that. And you know what? These cases I've just realized are going to be really hard. Because you have someone's life. Because CSGO is life. In your hands. Their future in your hands. And you can decide whether or not that they make it through alive or live to see another day. It's all up to you. Now that's just interesting. Oh, he has the op. 
Will we see some amazing kills like he did with the scout? We shall. We, we'll, we're going to see. You're going to see right here. Let's see when he peeks mid. No? Throwing a grenade. They can't get to that spot just yet. Usually you'd be able to get there before they get to that spot. Smoke. Mm. And he misses that shot. See, that's what I'm talking about. Smoke. Why is he shoot at the wall? Again, he's missing some really easy shots. That's a really easy shot. All you have to do is just aim for the um, head. You can even shoot him through the uh, the bucket or the barrel, I mean. And he does go down. So, hmm. I'm thinking aim hack or aim bot or whatever. Some aim assistance in some type of way. I don't know why people even cheat, you know? It's, it's like people with the art. Why? You don't benefit anything from I guess you do benefit from it with CSGO. But you just lose your ranks after a while, you know? Because when you finally get caught, you don't even lose your ranks. You just get banned. You go bye-bye. And then you have to start all over again. It's a long, tedious journey. So not checking his corners. Probably waiting to see who comes back through. Knows that bomb's down. Someone picked it up. No, they didn't pick a bomb? Interesting. I am throwing smoke. Hmm. Okay, so it seems to me I want I'm on the verge it's not walls. I know that much. It's on the verge of aim assistance or smurf. He's checking corners, however, a smurf usually would know that no one's gonna be up there that fast before they get to that point. But he's checking his corners. He's hitting some crazy shots with the um, snipers. Have yet to see a 1D kill that's raised my eyebrow to the ceiling. Whoa, never mind. Can he do that again? We're about to see. Oh, no, the guy's falling back. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And he's still gonna go with the deagle. So smurf or aim assistance? That's the problem. See, you can't really tell these days with the aim assistance. There's some instances, but the smurfs are so good against lower ranking people that sometimes they just get the easy shots. I want to get the Smurf account. My mom won't let me. Throw in the smoke. So they are losing pretty bad. Out. So I think it was for that one round where they really kind of were looking at the, um, the craziness going on. So if there's nothing else this round, you know what? We're going to go ahead and hit straight into the... Official call. Yep. All right, guys. So unless there's something else while I'm watching this demo, we're gonna go ahead and hit right onto the official call for uh, what I believe it is, and I'll let you guys know at the end of this video. This one. Diffusing. Okay. Interesting. Now it's time to go ahead and deliver our verdict. So, 
aim assistance. Ah, we're gonna come back to that. Vision assistance. Mm, no. Insignificant evidence. Major disrespicion. No. Griefing. No. Now aim assistance. Oh, this is basically walls. Aim assistance. I want to say there is. There was the one time where he was really bad with the op, but most of the time, you know, he could just be a smurf. But I don't think so. Not this time. There's something about those three scout shots. I believe it was three. That just seemed a little bit off. And I'm going to go ahead and in my best judgment, put that as with evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if, I, if you think otherwise. But this is what I believe to be right. Bam. Submit the verdict. And with that, guys, I thank you all for joining me on my first Overwatch video. I have another case. My God, it never stops. Wait. Hold up.